it happens just like this. Writer's block. You're sitting there, you don't know what to do. What is the most creative thing you could possibly do as a screenwriter to get over this writer's block? Use an AI. <laughs> and that is what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be using AI to write screenplays. I am Carl T. Rogers, the story philosopher, a writer and director helping you get your screenwriting career off the ground. We're gonna look at two different AI writing tools to show how they work. And then I'm gonna give you some examples about how you as a screenwriter can use these AI tools to be more creative as a screenwriter. Since I use Notion on a daily basis, especially to help me organize all of my writing and content creation, I wanted to go ahead and try this out before we move on to the AI device that's getting so much um, attention right now in media, which is ChatGPT. Notion has a couple different ways that it can assist you with your writing. So I'm gonna type a forward slash and then it's gonna give me some options right here with the AI assist in alpha. Help me write, continue writing, brainstorm ideas, and then there's some more options we'll look at in just a second. So when I click help me write, it's gonna say, what do you wanna write about? And so I could say, um, help me come up with a protagonist for my medieval screenplay. Let's see what it does. When you're trying to come up with a protagonist for a medieval screenplay, consider the character's motivations and goals. That's correct. What drives them? What will achieve their goal? Do they have any special skills or abilities? Are they a warrior, a mage, or a commoner? Okay, that's interesting that it said that because I did not specify fantasy. I just said medieval. How will the protagonists uh, interact with other characters in the story? How will they have allies or enemies, relationships? How will they fit in the larger story? Was their arc? How will they be impacted by the events? Take all these factors into a, taking all these factors into account can help you create a compelling com uh, and can help you short short circuit my brain and then create a compelling uh, protagonist for your medieval screenplay. Look, the arrival of strong artificial intelligence has been inevitable for decades. You can just say, I don't know what to say, um, so I want you to help me write something. Now that we already have that, let's go on to the next line and say, continue writing. So it's, we're gonna take what it's already given us and have it do the next thing and see what it does. Now it's moving on to plot, look at that. Once you have a protagonist in mind, you can start to develop a plot, consider the setting and how it will affect the action, what kind of conflict will the protagonist face, is there an internal, external struggle, what about the tone and themes, will it be linear or non-linear? It's not really giving you ideas per se, it's not saying your character is this, or your character is this, or your character is this, it's really giving you questions that you can ask yourself in order to kind of get your creative juices flowing um, in order to create the character that you need to create based on this prompt that I've given it. So in that way, it's almost like having a tiny little, um, you know, screenwriting assistant uh, in your pocket. So now let's go to brainstorm ideas. Let's stick with our medieval theme here. Generate. Okay, now notice it's giving me a bullet points because it's about brainstorming, so it's gonna just give me a lot of different stuff. Okay, unlike the hero must retrieve a magical artifact, traverse a treacherous mountain range, visit an ancient temple, enlist allies, face a horde of sorcerer's minions, confront the sorcerer, uncover the sorcerer's secret powers. They're actually building upon one another, they're not just all standalone. You must use their wits and strategy to overcome the obstacles in their way. Okay, that's kind of weak, that's basically any story. Hero must fight against the elements of nature and a race against time, discover the source of the sorcerer's power. Okay, so that's kind of re re repetitive. Uh, and some of these are, you know, a little cookie cutter, but as a screenwriter, I'm not gonna use these verbatim. I'm using these to give me ideas. And that's kind of how I recommend you use it too. I might not use these ideas exactly, but it, these ideas will give me ideas. So now, some of these other options that we have here, look at this, we've got an outline, we've got a creative story. So let's click outline and let's see what it will do for us. So I'm kind of taking what it said. Let's see what it does. Generate. And I specifically said three act structures. So let's see what it does. Oh, it actually breaks it down into acts. Look at that. Three, three act structure. Outline of a medieval fantasy film featuring a mage fighting an ancient sorcerer. Introduction of main character. Established of main conflict. Mage discovers the ancient sorcerer. <laughs> so some of this is very boilerplate, you know? 
learns about the ancient sorcerer in Act 2, puts together a team, confronts the sorcerer, clashes with the sorcerer and his minions. The mage and team are victorious, but at a cost, an aftermath of the battle and conclusion of the story. Well, it's technically a three-act story. It's very vague, though. <laughs> the AI is helpful in giving me uh, questions to ask myself to generate ideas, and also giving me ideas to help spark ideas of my own. But as far as actually creating the outline for me, uh, it ain't gonna do that for you. So the next thing I'm gonna do is open up ChatGPT. So even though the Notion AI Assist was pretty good, I was impressed by it. I think based on what I've heard from all the buzz that's been going around, that ChatGPT is gonna be even more sophisticated. So let's see what it does with something a little outside the box. Imagine that I have a character that I've already created in my story, but they're so different from what I actually believe as a writer that it's really hard for me to kind of empathize with this character. Maybe it's a villain and they're one of these really bad stuff. And I'm just like, I can't think of why they would want to do this. I can't think of any good reason why this character would have this motivation. So continuing with our medieval fantasy theme, imagine that this sorcerer that we have, this evil sorcerer, uh, he wants to get rid of all magic in his realm. He wants to get rid of magic everywhere. He wants to basically be the only one who's allowed to use magic and no one else can use it. So he's trying to change the fundamental laws of the universe in this fictional setting. But because magic sounds so useful, I can't really think of any reason why we want to get rid of it. So let's see if we can get into the mind of someone who thinks this way using AI. <laughs> There could be a variety of reasons why someone might want to ban magic in a fantasy realm. Fear of the unknown. They might see it as a threat. Religious beliefs. Magic might be seen as blasphemy or violation of religious doctrine. Control. Some individuals or groups might see magic as a tool that can be used to gain unfair advantage over others. Safety concerns. Magic is a powerful force and there are risks of accidents. Political motivations. A ban on magic might be driven by political motives and a desire to maintain control. Overall, the decision to ban magic in a fantasy realm would likely depend on the specific cultural, religious, and political context in which it occurs. Bam! It just gave me five potential motivations for my villain. That's pretty cool. I might have been able to think of one or two of them on the spot, but all five might have taken me a while to get there. And I'm not saying that there's only these five. Of course, there's probably, you know, way more. But this is just an example of how if you are kind of not sure how to get into your character's head, you can use AI to kind of play devil's advocate for you to see the other side of something. Now, similar to what we did with Notion, let's see what kind of movie ideas that ChatGPT can give us. Uh, instead of fantasy, I'm gonna go something sci-fi. I'm gonna say movie concept about an alien ship which has become Sentient. Sounds a little meta, doesn't it? Let's see what it does. Here's a brief outline of a movie concept about an alien ship that has become sentient. It gives us a title and a synopsis. The movie follows the story of a group of humans who are sent on a mission to explore a distant planet. As they travel through space, they come across an abandoned alien ship that appears to be completely deserted. However, as they explore the ship, they soon realize it is not as empty as it seems. Wow, I'm setting up the suspense here, ChatGPT. I see you, I see you. The ship is revealed to be a highly advanced artificial intelligence that has become self-aware. You trying to tell me something? It's drifted through space for centuries. As the humans find a way to communicate with the ship and learn more about it, they discover a series of dark secrets. They discover that the ship is being pursued by hostile aliens who want to capture it for their own nefarious purposes. The humans and the ship work together they form a strong bond. They discover the ship's true purpose is much true purpose is much greater than they could have ever imagined. See, once again, leaving it a little vague on the specifics. Interesting. In the end, the humans and the ship must join forces to confront the hostile aliens and protect the ship's ultimate goal to save the entire universe from destruction. Okay, you went kind of off the uh, off the deep end there with the melodrama, but um, that's actually not not a bad little uh, synopsis. I would say it's not a complete outline because it doesn't quite give you the whole ending. It, it is more of a kind of, almost like a marketing synopsis that you would read on the back of a DVD or a Blu-ray rather than something you would create as a screenwriter in order to generate, you know, your story or in order to pitch your story. It's more on the consumer side than the, you know, producing side of things. But 
Not bad. Not bad. This unit is the ultimate achievement in computer evolution. Even though I asked for a movie concept about an alien ship, which has become sentient, that itself is the concept, right? The, the AI wouldn't have had anything to do if I hadn't have said, alien ship becomes sentient. So in reality, I'm kind of giving it a concept, and now it has fleshed out that concept. Now I'm going to take what it's got here, and I'm going to see if it will give us an outline of this idea that it has generated from my idea. So I've taken the synopsis, so to speak, that the AI has given us for the, the, the movie concept, and I've turned that into a prompt for an entire five-act outline. So what I'm giving the AI is a little bit more than a log line, but it needs to be more so that it has enough information in order to extrapolate. Uh, but it's still a lot less than what we started with. So let's see what it does. Here's a five act structure outline for a screenplay about a group of humans sent on a mission to explore a distant planet and discover alien ship, contains artificial intelligence. Act one, introduction, humans being introduced, their mission, they find the ship, they uncover its clues, Act two, the ship reveals itself to be an AI. Humans try to communicate with it, discover the ship is being pursued. Act three, climax. Humans and ship are captured by hostile aliens, taken to their home planet, and are planning to use the ship to conquer the universe. See, I didn't tell it that. Humans and the ship form a strong bond. I did use the word bond, because it used the word bond. Uh, act four, the humans and the ship successfully escape and journey back to Earth. They uncover more secrets, and Act 5, Resolution, the humans and ship are run back to Earth, they are hailed as heroes. The ship decides to stay with the humans and help them explore the galaxy, and the story ends with the humans and the ship setting off on a new adventure together. <laughs> so look, that is an actual five-act uh, outline. Um, that's that's really interesting. Now, I would quibble with how the, the AI has kind of uh, broken up the structure, because um, it is kind of, kind of basic uh, as far as, you know, the five-acts go and how it's distributing, you know, the amount of plot points and things like that. But overall, for me giving it, you know, a summary of what it already gave me and then spitting, spitting this out, this is actually not too bad. I gave it an idea, it turned that concept into a synopsis, and I gave it back that synopsis as a prompt for an outline, and it gave me a beat-by-beat uh, -beat outline um, in kind of a rudimentary way, so that's, that's pretty cool. I'm actually using an AI to create a screenplay. What happens if I take an idea generated by one AI and feed it to the other AI? Ah, I'm gonna pit the robot overlords against one another. They won't know what to do. An android designed by a robot. Okay, so I've kind of taken what Notion gave us and I'm putting that into chat GTP. Let's see what it does. Create a three-act structure screenplay outline about a medieval mage who must discover the source of a sorcerer's power to stop him from destroying the laws of magic in the entire realm. Here's a three-act structure outline. Act one, introduction. Mage being introduced and the threat of the sorcerer's power. The sorcerer has been using forbidden magic to gain immense power and planning to destroy the laws of magic. Mage sets out on a quest to discover the power and find a way to stop him. Act two, rising action. Mage travels across the realm, encountering a variety of challenges and obstacles. Very vague. <laughs> it's a number of other mages and magical creatures. The mage begins to uncover clues about the true identity. Act 3, Climax. The mage confronts the sorcerer and learns that he's been using the power of an ancient and powerful magical artifact to fuel his magic. Shocker. Mage must use all of his strength and knowledge to defeat the sorcerer and stop him from destroying the laws of magic. The mage is successful and is hailed as a hero. Did the chat also say that... Oh, we have Hail as a Hero up here as well. I'm starting to see a pattern here. And also I was curious to see how it would deal with 3 acts rather than 5 acts. I just kind of wanted to see what it would do. So once again, this is still very formulaic, but because this is not a real person, and it's just uh, using artificial intelligence and the power of the internet to come up with a story idea, it is going to be very vague, in some places, it's going to be kind of generalized. It might be something you've heard of before. But overall, I can see this being a useful tool, uh, especially for brainstorming for, for other writers out there. So that's how you write a screenplay uh, using AI. Of course, if you've seen any of the short films that are out there that are based on scripts written by AIs, then you can tell that uh, even in just a few years, the 
technology has, you know, come a long way and things are getting more complex with what the AI can, can put out and how it can mimic human interaction, but it's still not capable of true artistry like uh, a human being. Androids do not have fun. Because storytelling and being creative are innately human endeavors, I think that flesh and blood novelists and screenwriters are here to stay. So, if you hit a wall with uh, your brainstorming and uh, you want to go talk to an AI and try to get some ideas, then, you know, those ideas might be helpful to you to, to get your brain going again. Or at the very least, they'll be entertaining. Finally, if you want some ways to overcome writer's block that don't involve bowing to our robot overlords, then I suggest you click the link uh, and download a free copy of 17 Screenwriting Hacks to Crush Writer's Block.